Welcome back to the channel, guys. We've got a massive day ahead, but I wanted to do a little thrift trip to start the day. I've got some DVDs here. I'm actually paying a dollar because they're half price in media today in this store. So this one here in the wild um, should go for about $25, worth the pickup. And I've also got a couple of Mr. Beans. These box sets weren't actually worth it. They were only going for about 20 or so, but this one here was going for about 25. So I ended up going with two of those sets of DVDs, but they should make about 50 bucks got these as well these are the fresh foam 680s now i wasn't wrapped about the condition of them but i was stoked about the price they're just two dollars so i'm just going to fluctuate the price ever so slightly comps are saying they're worth about 70 i'm going to go ahead and list them up for about 40 and i'll probably take a best offer on that as well but they are a size 13 and that really does help the situation as you can see there that's the reason why i'm putting them up for 40 bucks I went back into the DVD section and I found this one here, yet another bread and butter $25 DVD. So I'm always going to pick those up. Um, this one was priced up though for the $2 purchase price. Um, tennis shoes have done really well for me of late. Wilson Rush Pro. Um, albeit these are a slightly smaller size, I believe they're a US size 6. Uh, I'm paying $10 in store, comps are telling me about $50. Bucks. Plenty of wear left on those, so that was quite a good find. Um, I found this as well, Sports Night. This is the complete series set. It's also a 10th anniversary. I spied the complete collection. I looked into it. It was worth about 50 bucks. Bunch of Xbox 360 games in this store as well. Uh, we've got a Game of the Year edition of Fallout 3. We've got Skate 3 as well. Um, Tekken 6 as well didn't actually comp up for as much as I thought, but I went ahead and picked it up anyway. Um, that was an absolute bang uh, game that I used to play. And then Minecraft was worth about $25 as well. So there were quite a good number of games. Aliens vs Predator as well. But I ended up going through, I comped everything out, and I ended up coming away with just a couple of the games. So as you can see there, there's a few that I was ending up going ahead with. Uh, we've got some books here as well. This Zach Powell book set has always done well for me in the past. It was a pretty cheap price here in store at the $6.00. Um, so I'm going to list that up for about $35. It would probably cost $10 to $12 in shipping, um, but I'm happy to go ahead and try and make a $10 profit on it. Uh, and then this one here as well. Um, this one has done well for me too. Hey, Jack. Uh, we'll go for a similar sort of number on that. Um, Shadow, Sonic the Hedgehog. Had to go ahead and pick this one up as well. It was brand new with tags. Don't buy a lot of plush anymore. I used to buy a heap. Uh, but this one here was a really nice size, 46 centimeters. I'm going to go for about 35 bucks. Had to put Brian back on the shelf though. Um, some good plush in this little bin. This was arguably the find of the morning, guys. I found the uh, the Nike. These are the Air Penny 2s. Um, they're actually a Miami Heat colorway. Um, and I think with a $37 price tag in store, size 11, I should be able to sell these for upwards of $150 to $160. So this has been a huge find. Um, didn't know what they were. I searched up the style code. The style code told me that they were the Air Penny 2. And that tells me on eBay that we're going to make about 150, 160 odd dollars. This next shoe find though, these surprised me like you wouldn't believe. They look like a pair of just random footy boots, pretty plain, nothing too crazy about them. They're only $8 in store, but they are genuine leather and they actually are the elite version. They are the top of the range football boot and there are multiple sales on eBay. Forget this, $170. So I'm going to price them up for about 150 and we'll see how we go. Uh, and then I've got a bunch of DVDs here, but the biggest thing about these DVDs, yes, they are more $25 bread and butters, but there they are there. They're just a dollar each. It's such a cheap purchase price. I haven't seen DVDs like this. This is brand new and sealed as well. Haven't seen prices like this in op shops for years, literally. Uh, a River Somewhere as well. This one, couldn't, couldn't say no to it. It's a, it's a $25 bread and butter DVD, but it is only a $1 purchase price, so that was fantastic. And I've gone ahead based on price with this one. The Ultimate Western Collection, there's a set of eight different movies in there. Let me know if you've watched any of those or what the pick of them are for you. Um, but that one only had a $4 price tag, so it was a pretty successful morning. All right, so I've just gone ahead and I've listed up the footy boots uh, for 150, and then I've listed up the Miami Heat Air Penny 2s, I've got 165. So what that means is there's $315 in value right there in those two listings. And I've already listed up earlier today uh, two other listings as well. And one of them was this one right here. I actually picked this one up off Facebook Marketplace yesterday. It's a DVD RW uh, uh, plus RW plus R recording. So basically it converts VHS to DVD. 
and I've got a bunch of the old blank CDRs and DVDRs, as you can see there. Um, so we'll be able to basically have the VCR and the DVD combo player. It's an RC195, and it goes for about $230. I actually found this one on Facebook Marketplace just yesterday for 50 bucks. And the reason why I was able to snap it up so quick, it had only been listed up for 45 minutes before I was able to buy it, is because I've worked out a way to actually be able to search on Facebook Marketplace for the most recent listings. It's obviously always been the biggest concern. You always click on the most recent and it says that it was like six weeks ago. Um, so you're never actually able to just know that you're in for a chance at getting an item that's only just recently been listed. Um, but I have worked out a way to do it and it's working beautifully for me. I'm starting to pick up a lot of deals off Facebook Marketplace, including that VCR combo player. Um, and I have shared it with the guys in my YouTube channel membership. Um, I post up regular videos on that YouTube channel membership. It's only five bucks a month. And I'm gonna to start to give away more hints and tips just like that that can have a profound effect on your eBay business. If you guys are using Facebook Marketplace and you wanna try and find a way to get those most recent listings in front of you at all times, well, that little members video has got it for you. So it's only five bucks a month. You can cancel at any time. I definitely recommend you jump over there because every single time I come across these little hints and tips, I'm gonna to start to throw it into the members group. Now, regular channel viewers would remember I picked up a heap of Transformer figures at an op shop a few months ago. Well, this one here has been able to come through and sell for $30. It's not a crazy one. Uh, we have been selling them for over $100 for some of the ones that we found, but this one here, as you can see there, 2010 Hasbro, um, completely genuine. Uh, it, it transforms basically into a whatever dude this guy was. I'm not sure of his actual name, but... Um, these transformer figures can do really well. We're going to put him into a box. I've got a little box in here somewhere. Um, I'm going to sink him into that with a bunch of bubble wrap. $30 sale price. We've already profited so much off the deal for these guys. Um, so that was a good one to see head out the door. All right, the next one that I've got here is the Panasonic Blu-ray player. Um, this was model number DMP BD45. We got a $70 sale price for this one here. Um, tested and working, and I've got it right here. So, you know, guys, I spoke obviously before about that combo player up there. That's going to do really well for us. But even items like this, where they are just standalone, more modern, uh, modern day Blu-ray displays, they can still fetch some pretty decent money. So I'm going to put a lot of bubble wrap around this one. But to get a $70 sale price on that, um, I don't think, I actually, I actually want to say, well, I actually don't remember where I bought this one. I don't, oh, I'd have to go back and have a look into it. But I wouldn't have paid very much. It's in fantastic condition. And 70 bucks is a brilliant sale price. Actually, I do remember, I got it off Selwyn um, in a private pick and I don't think I paid very much. I think it was about five to $10. He gave me a ripping deal. Um, so to convert it into 70, even better. All right, this one as well. We've got a big PlayStation. Well, we shouldn't say big. It's not very big at all. Um, it's only a haul of 10. Uh, 10 PlayStation 2 games. As you'll see by a bunch of these titles here uh, before I tip it over. There we go. A lot of these titles aren't worth a whole heap of money. There it is there, $38 for a PlayStation 2 bundle. We had 10 go there. And I'm gonna put that one into a small box. Uh, shouldn't cost a lot to send it off. But guys, I talk about it all the time. As you can see here, it's pretty bare, right? Like we had this covered with uh, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 bundles. Uh, and now they're out the door and then everything under it, all of these were selling off individually for $20 plus. And here's an example of that. We've got Tekken 4. Uh, this game has gone on, as you can see there, I paid the $3 for it. Uh, we ended up selling it for 20 bucks. So 20 bucks, uh, Tekken 4, we'll put that into a tracked envelope for $6.80. Won't make us a ton of money, but it is our new minimum for our video games. All right, the next one that we've got here, you guys may have remembered from a previous vlog. Uh, it was the kid-sized Parramatta Eels jersey. That was only in the video maybe a week or two ago, I think, when Courtney and I went out thrifting. Um, a really good, like new condition. This one was a kid-size 14. I said in the video I'd price it up for 40 bucks. I did, and then I got a best offer come through just a day or two ago and we're able to get a $35 sale price come through on payment. So 35 bucks, we paid $10 in a thrift store for that. So 10 into 35, it's not huge, but it's not too bad when the sell through rate is what, seven days to be able to see our 10 bucks back and a little bit of profit. Ah, now this one was a really good sale guys. 
it was in a thrift store as well a few weeks ago in, a, in another vlog. So we've had a few vlog sales come through. Um, Brothers and Sisters. Now this is the complete series uh, one to five of, uh, of the TV show Brother and Sisters. We actually got a $35 sale price on this one as well. Um, but we only paid $5 in a thrift store. It was just a dollar a piece. Um, so we're able to turn five into 35. So it's gonna be a better turnaround than the jersey. Um, but yeah, brothers and sisters, sell through rate on that. Maybe two or three weeks. Jerry Seinfeld. Not a crazy sale, this one. Tub number 63, I believe. There it is there, sign language, Jerry Seinfeld. This one here sold for $20, guys. Luckily, it's small enough that it's gonna easily fit into a small satchel. So we're not gonna get burnt on postage at all. Um, but yeah, 20 bucks. If I saw it in a thrift store today, I probably wouldn't pick it up. You'd want a book like this to be selling for at least 30 to get any true amount of value because it is gonna cost $8.50 to ship. Um, so that means it's an $11.50 sale price and we would have paid a few dollars for it. So we've maybe made about six to seven bucks in profit on that. Not the end of the world, but probably wouldn't buy it again. Actually, I double checked that and it's actually only a $14.95 sale price. So we have gone ahead and lost money, basically lost money on that Seinfeld book. So lessons learned. It was an item that we would have put, uh, purchased a while back. Um, won't be doing that again. All right, we have had this one come through though. Two and a half men. Can't believe that we got $40 for this. This is a TV show that you don't often uh, sell very well, but we did. Sell through rate, forever. Would I buy it again? Probably not. But we got away with it, a $40 sale price on that. And I believe this one here sold for $20 as well. Only sold for 15, but we're gonna put that one into a large envelope. A large envelope for about $8, sold for 15 bucks, $7 sale price, paid two each, $4, so we're not making a lot on that one either. These are obviously a bunch of old sales, guys, and we're really starting to pay attention to this sort of number crackdown now, and as you can see, like, selling something for 15, once you've dropped your price a few times and you get as low as 15, you're really not making any money, so you start to pay attention to the sell-through rate and you understand that the initial $20 price that we had that listed for isn't feasible because one, it's not selling, and two, it's obviously only selling at a $15 price, which is not profitable based on the purchase prices that we're seeing these items at. So we're just forever taking in this information and getting better at our sourcing. And as you saw today, when we're out thrifting, we've already learned a few lessons over the years. This was the next one. We've got the big fat PlayStation 3 console with all of its cables and uh, some controllers. I'm gonna give them the two best controllers out of these five here. I'll just do a little bit of testing to work out which ones are the good ones. Uh, but we've got $130 on that. With the PlayStation 3s, if you can find the four-point USB, they go for a whole lot more money than the PlayStation 3s with only the two as we've got here. But we were still able to get 130 bucks for that, and that'll ship for about maybe 20 odd dollars in the post. And then the last item that I've got for you guys are these Burden Snow Gloves. It's coming into winter here in Australia. So these sorts of items are gonna be ones that I'm gonna to start to look for. And um, they do go on to sell well. I was previously snowboarding in Canada for a few years back when I was late 20s and it was the time of my life, but I got to know the snowboard brands really well. Um, Gore-Tex right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, but Gore-Tex and Burton tells me that it is very, very high end. Uh, and I actually listed this one up for 60, yeah, I think it was 60 bucks, but I took a best offer at 35 just to see it out the door. Um, probably shouldn't have said yes to 35. I probably could have held out for about 50. That was my true intention when I listed it for 60. Um, but I think it might've been a slow sales day a day or two ago and I just saw the 35 bucks and I thought, you know what? Let's just take it and give these guys a really good deal. So that rounds it out. A bunch of listings there that have come through over the last 24 hours. I'm gonna go ahead with just, what have we got? We've got two hours to be able to ship all of this off, which shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I'll see you on the way to the post office. It is bucketing down, guys. But 4.45, we have got the post done. I've just dropped it off. I'm about to shoot off to the gym now. Um, so five o'clock to the gym, five to six, get home, make some dinner. I'm actually gonna be putting baby reindeer on tonight for the very first time. Uh, a lot of people have said that that is a good TV show. So it's on Netflix, I'm gonna turn it on, give it a crack. Uh, let me know if you've seen it, let me know if it's any good. Um, 
so far so good though today in the sense of what we're able to achieve. Uh, you know, $44 average sale price in the end when you add the extra $100 onto those football boots. Um, so they were great. I'm going to list them up for, or I have listed them up for $150. I dare say I'll get it as well. Uh, the Air Penny 2s, they are actually a Miami Heat variant um, or colorway. Uh, so I've listed them up for $160. So it meant that our total haul today was $805 worth of value for 18 items at an average of $44.70. It's a really good thrift haul. I'm very, very happy with that. And uh, I'm gonna get Courtney to list up the majority of it uh, tomorrow. So I've already got today's listings covered. She's got that now ready to go for tomorrow. I'm probably gonna go back out and thrift again because I think with this public holiday weekend just gone, there's, there's a lot of items out in these stores. So I'm gonna run around to a few different ones tomorrow. New day. Courtney's in. New week. New, well, new week for you because you weren't in on Monday. Yeah, new week. <laughs> Courtney's been going ahead and listing all of this stuff that we just went and sourced and well that just looks like oh 480 yeah nice 15 415 415 items oh 15 listings yeah yeah because uh, I did those footy boots uh, yesterday um, so with that's your last one the docks yeah nice we are going to go out and do some thrifting now uh, it was just so good yesterday Hopefully this shadow sells soon. Um, but yeah, nice to get all of that listed up. Hopefully there's, well, I'll tell you what, there's no rain like there was yesterday. No. It's another really nice day out there today. Um, so hopefully the thrift stores have uh, got some good stuff for us on day two. Just looking at all of these DVDs over here and I found Duck Dynasty season two through to season 10. But unfortunately, it's priced up at $5 each. So... Gonna have to leave all of the DVD section behind. The boot cut 503. They look like they're in pretty good nick. They were 503 too. Yeah. For 10. How many sales were there on it? See down the bottom there? Oh yeah. 87. What's that one? These ones as well, but they don't have the price on them. This brand here. Scotch and soda. Scotch and soda, yeah. Ralston. Ralston. 36, 32 in size. It's similar to the Levi's pricing. Like. How many sales? 21. I reckon, yeah. No price, though. No. I reckon, yeah. well, hopefully it's 10 like the other two, right? Yeah. Five bucks. Yeah. I don't know why you gave it to us for five, but that was awesome. Yeah. Um, because what do you reckon we put on them? Maybe forty-five, fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. So that's that's great. Uh, yeah. So Courtney's on denim and books, and I'm on the shoes and media. So I think with a couple of stores within pretty close proximity around here, we should be able to get this thrift trip done pretty fast. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, four items secured already out of that first store. So mm. pretty excited to get into this next one. Guys, this is an incredible find. We've got the ASICS Gel Quantum 360s. These are actually a pretty rare pair of shoes. And if you've got them in like new condition, they can go upwards of two to $300. These are a size eight and a half men's. Um, they're only $10 here in store. This shoe, I reckon, oh, I reckon we can honestly lift this shoe up for about 150. It's an absolute banger condition of it is actually pretty good there's no fabric tears i'm going to put it through the washing machine there's a couple of little scuff marks on the gel there um, but the soles are in great nick and at 10 bucks this is actually going to do really well a big shoe for you guys to look out for have a guess how much these shoes are worth 80 150 <laughs> why just a rare shoe Wow, that's so good. All right, we've done pretty well here. We've got two really good ones. First one here is the Vermiro 14 um, women's shoe. That was only $9. And then that one we've done so many times before, hey? Yeah. The Pegasus for $14. And they came in on the 3rd of May. This is $9. Oh. 14 I think you've got one of each. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a 14 and a 9 on that. Yeah. We'll see what they go with. 
We've got these dry bone pants. Um, they're a size 36 waist. They're $8, but there's only 17 sales on this one. Mm. I just know that dry bone is just such a good brand. So sort of one where you, do you take the risk for $8 or do you just let it slide? What do you reckon? I reckon no. No? All right, I'll put them back. Um, I've got this though, which was a Cricket Australia. Do you want to check to see what this is worth? Cricket Australia best. Mm -hmm. um, completely genuine. It is $12 though, which is probably a little bit steep. But what I like about it though, is it's a size extra large, um, which should help us. I'd need it to sell for about 40. Oh. Cricket Australia best. 99, keep scrolling. 68, keep going. Sure. I think it's I think it's <laughs> worth it. Yeah, I, th I think it's worth it. Yeah. Based on all those big high prices. And then I've also found these as well. Now, hopefully you guys know that Heli Hansen is a really, really good brand, but these have actually got the Olympic rings on it as well. It says OBS. It's priced for seven bucks. You got anything on it? Ski pants, like Heli, well, no. So Heli Hansen's a really good ski brand, but they've used the brand for something to do with the Olympics because it's got this. I've never seen it before. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty cool. Tokyo 2020. Yeah, that's it. Someone's trying to sell it for 49. Mm. Oh, the broadcasting pants. Oh, that does that, yeah. The Olympic broadcast pants. So the staff would have used it when they were on TV or radio. For seven bucks, what do you reckon? Size extra large. It's just there's no sell through rate on them, yeah? Yeah. Like there's no history. No. Probably leave it. It's a bit like the, it's really identical to the dry bone. Yeah. Cool, fine. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna say leave it. We've just found these. These are the Air Jordan One lows, and now the triple black. Um, there's definitely some wear on them. They were only fifteen dollars in store. There's a little bit of a lift there in the back of the heel. There's some a bit of heel burn. But there's comps on eBay for over $100 for these shoes. And I believe they're genuine and they're a men's size 10 as well. So for $15 in this condition, I think we could probably get 50. Mm. Is that some, no, they're good. It's, there's just this shoe here. It's just got a little bit of a mark on the front there. Mm. It's a couple of little marks, but I mean, it's a really, really good shoe. And it's not in the worst of condition. There's a bit of a mark here. I don't know. I think just because it's a Jordan 1, you might have to give it a go. Now, I copped a big fat copyright issue when the music was playing in this thrift store. So I've had to go back, re-edit this video, and just put a little voice clip. So you've got voice over mat for this next little segment. Um, this dries bone jacket. $80 price tag. Courtney and I spent a lot of time in this thrift store assessing whether or not to go with it. We also wanted to know whether or not it was a vintage uh, coat, which we determined that it was, and we had a look at some comps on eBay. Well, as you can see there, we're talking quite high dollar, any, anywhere really between two to $300. So at an $80 investment, I, I speak about this a lot on the channel. Courtney and I were deliberating and I was really explaining to Courtney that yes, it's a big cost, but I don't have a problem nowadays putting good money into an item if you're going to get a good return from it. Um, so this item here, we just said, yes, we'll go ahead with it. Uh, it is also a size extra large. It's a men's extra large, which I think is really going to help the resale value. Um, it was missing a little, a little rain jacket top there. Uh, but apart from that, it was in great condition, albeit there was a little mark on the arm sleeve. So 80 into 2 to $250 odd dollars, I think it's definitely something 
to go ahead with. And if you're a beginner seller out there, have the confidence that if the data on eBay tells you that it's worthwhile uh, to go ahead and make the purchase. So that was actually a really cool find. So it was just um, it was just missing its little uh, raincoat, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it is quite heavy. Yeah, it is so very heavy. I think postage on it might be about 20 bucks. Yeah. So all up, we're going to be out of pocket by about... $115 yeah. when you add the fees as well. Yeah. So if we can sell it for 200 that's going to be 85 profit. Yeah. But I reckon we might list it up for 220 Yeah. So this could be a $100 profit on it. Pretty successful. Do you like that store? I do. Yeah, I do like that store. I also like the Jordan 1 Lowe's. It's not every day you find a pair of Jordan 1s in the thrift. No. So you kind of have to buy them, don't you? Yeah. It'll just be, it just won't be a $100 listing. It'll be, I think mm. what you said, a $50 listing. Yeah, but good size at least. Great size. Men's 10, triple black. Somebody, somebody out there will snap them up for 50 yeah. Maybe Let us know in the comments. Should we list them up in that condition for a little bit more? I don't know. Hmm. Um, we had a couple of finds off camera as well, Courtney, didn't we? Yeah, we got these three Maggie Stifada gonna butcher that um hardcover books they were two dollars each so six dollars purchase and they go for about 35 to 40 so it's pretty good yeah 35 to 40 for books is is fine i was saying to courtney though when she was showing me them whether or not they would fit into a medium satchel um they you... fit into a medium but are you saying small yeah i was thinking if they could fit into a small at eight dollars fifty that'd be brilliant but mm -hmm are probably going to go on a medium, aren't they? I reckon. So it could be about a $12 postage cost. So 12 plus 6 is 18. Take off some fees. At about 5 is 23. And we, we're going to list them for 35, aren't we? Yeah. So we're going to make 12 bucks profit and we're paying how much? Six. six. So that's fine. That's good. And that's going at like the cheaper because I think there was some that were at the $39.95. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't have the coupon on the store at the moment where they can automatically get the 5% off. Oh, yeah. So for that reason, I might leave it at 35 bucks. Yeah. And I'll pay full price. Yeah. Yeah. And then we also found this really, really vintage... Kind of cool, hey? Mad Don Martin cartoons magazine. Yeah, like the best of Mad Max magazines, wasn't it? There are also some Simpsons comics, comics in there as well. This was $4 and it's 1974. I think we found pretty much exact match to it for 45 45 so I think we can list that for 45 it's it's not it was I actually don't think it was the same cover the one that we found for 45 as a comp no but it was from the same year yeah and it was a completely mad like we've got here and it yeah Don Martin completely mad so we've got pretty much an exact match almost an exact match at 45 bucks so I think we can I think we can list it up for 45 For an old 1974 comic, Yeah, that's in pretty good nick. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, there's a video that I'm going to whack right in the middle, Courtney. Can you point to it? Just, yes, perfect placement. <laughs> uh, uh, big thr Actually, yeah, the, uh, it'll be a thrifting video. Big, big thrifting video that Courtney and I did actually a couple of weeks ago. Thanks for being here. We'll see you soon.